box with no picture, so I don't know what it's supposed to be. At first, I thought it was a big boat, but now I'm not sure. Maybe it's a fire truck or a bicycle. I hope I can figure out this puzzle without knowing what it's supposed to be. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Working on a puzzle, are you? Yes, I am, but I don't have the picture, so I don't know what the puzzle's supposed to be. You can do the puzzle. Yes, it's true. And you can do important things because God is with you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. It's so good to see you. I'm making a puzzle today. I love puzzles, don't you? It's fun how you start with one piece and it doesn't really look like anything, but then you add another piece and another and all of a sudden you have a whole picture. Can you tell me what this puzzle made? Yes, it's a heart. <laughs> 
You know, this puzzle reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Moses. Moses was taking care of some animals. Listen, what kind of animal was he taking care of? <laughs> yes, sheep. One day, when Moses was taking care of his sheep, he saw a bush that was on fire. Moses went to look at it and saw that there was something different about it. Moses heard God's voice coming from inside the bush. Moses, God said. Here I am, said Moses. God told Moses to go to Egypt and help God's people, the Israelites. God wanted Moses to tell Pharaoh to let my people go and take the Israelites to a new land. Wow, Moses wasn't sure he could do it. He didn't think Pharaoh would listen to him. Pharaoh was the king of Egypt, and he was mean to God's people. God told Moses, I will be with you. Moses said, but what if God's people don't believe me? God told Moses, I will be with you. Moses can trust God because nothing is too big for God. Nothing is too hard for God. God's got it. Moses can trust God because God's got it. Let's tell Moses God's got it. Ready? One, two, three. God's got it. Well, let's say it again, this time really loud. One, two, three. God's got it. Yes. <laughs> so Moses trusted God and we can too because God's got it. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. Adios. So there's your story. And it's all true. Moses trusted God. And we can trust God, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Ooh. Wow, what an amazing story. God talked to Moses through the burning bush. We can trust God because God's got it. I think I've got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I need to put the last few pieces on my puzzle. And... Ta-da! It's a rocket ship. I'll see you all next time. Bye! Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5.